Maybe that looks like a joke. If you're gonna draw a joke, what would you draw? Other than the Dallas Cowboys. Oh. Yo, yo, yo! Welcome back to KCC Kids Fits. Today we're going to show you one of my many weaknesses. Today we are going to be drawing some pictures. I am a horrible artist when it comes to drawing, but we're gonna try some things. So here's the way that it's gonna work. We're in our uh, our God's Masterpiece room, which is our arts and crafts room, which is only fitting a giant whiteboard behind me as you can see, and I'm going to pull up a random Pictionary word generator on my phone, and I'm going to ask it to give me a word to draw, and I don't know what these words are, and uh, when I click submit, then it'll just give me a word. So we're gonna do four pictures. Uh, they'll be easy, medium, hard, and very hard. Uh, so hopefully I can do okay, at least in the first couple of ones. Uh, after I draw them, I'm going to call in some people from the office and see if they can guess what it is that I've actually drawn. So I would love, love for that to, <laughs> to happen. So uh, if I can get like, if I can get three out of the four guests, I mean, I'll be, that's a win for me. So here we go. I got my phone pulled up right here, the random Pictionary word generator. I'm a category is easy. I'm going to generate the first word right here. <laughs> oh no. <laughs> Oh no, let's see. Look at that. It's bug. It's bug. Oh boy. All right, so let's turn around and go to the board. I have to draw a bug? What? I don't even know what color to use. Let's do, um, let's do black. And I think I'm gonna go for like a beetle looking thing. See if I can do that. Beetles usually have a split back with like two wings, I think. Um, okay, I'm gonna step off camera. And I think I'm gonna start here with uh, the basic shape of the back and come around like that and come around like that. And then I'm gonna have some legs off to the side here, and some legs off to the side here. Uh, usually I'm gonna give it a head too. Oh, that's a horrible head. Uh, I'm gonna erase that. No, no erasing. Let's just, uh, let's just do that. Some big old bug eyes. I gotta get it compound eyes like bugs have. Just lots of little polka dots. That kinda looks like a bug eye. I'll take that. And um, let's give it a mouth up here and some antenna. And maybe like a little wispy tail. Like an earwig tail or something. I don't know. That's probably nothing, but. There it is. There's our bug. Bam, bam. So. Um, Yikes, that's horrible. I wonder what God was thinking when he made bugs. Like, how did he, he made so many different kinds of bugs and so many different colors and species and uh, abilities. Like, it's firefly season. I'm starting to see fireflies in my backyard. Has anybody else seen fireflies? Like, what was God thinking when he made fireflies? They're so cool. There's no way I could come up with that. I can't even draw one, much less think of, think of it and invent it and make it. All right, so we're gonna change the category here from easy, apparently bug is easy, I don't think so, to medium. Generate Pictionary word, medium. Male. I think male's actually easier than bug. I can do male. I can do male. All right, so let's go back to the board. Uh, I'll stick with the black marker. And, um, to do this, let's go ahead. I'm gonna do the front of an envelope, I think. The front of an envelope. So it's gonna be a big rectangle. And then we're gonna do this like there's some words here. 
and then this, like there's some words here. And then let's change colors and start with red and go here. Ooh, that's a very light red. I might need something darker. Let's go with purple. Let's go with purple to make the stamp and put like a random face or something there where it looks like it's somebody's profile or something. I don't know. Yeah, it doesn't look like a stamp. But that's it. Let's see if let's see if somebody can get mail from there. If I if I were drawing two drawings and I were actually playing dictionary or pictionary, I think I would do uh, mailbox and mail as well. But we'll see how that works. Man, mail is. I thought it was gonna be easy. That doesn't really look. Yeah, that doesn't really look like an um like an envelope. It kind of does, but we'll see if, if they can get it. Here we go. Going from medium to hard. Create Pictionary Word. Oh, this is hard. The word is putty. Putty. How do you draw putty? I don't even like. I I I don't. I, what, <laughs> what, what is going on? I don't know what to do. Um, let me use blue. And drawing putty. I don't even know. Uh, let's do like a little glob, I guess. Like a little glob. Does that kind of look like a putty shape? And then maybe draw some like, make it look stretchy. I don't know, that's probably a bad idea. <laughs> um, maybe I can make a putty knife as well to go with it. A putty knife is something that you use to put putty on walls. And maybe if I make a putty knife like that, maybe that looks a little bit like putty. I have no idea. I don't think it does, but there it is. <laughs> oh boy, all right, here we go. Round number four. We're gonna change it to really hard. I said very hard earlier, but it's really hard. Generate Pictionary words. My favorite. My favorite, it's a joke. I have to draw a joke. I don't even know what that, how do you draw a joke though? Cause you're not allowed to use words in Pictionary. You can't actually draw letters or numbers. Um, so how do I draw a joke? I, I am gonna draw two people. I think I'm coming up with it right now. I'm gonna draw two people and I'm gonna have like a text bubble coming out of them. So here's one person. Um, we'll give him some eyes, a nose, and an open mouth because he's speaking. Man, this is supposed to be brown. It looks black. Look at that hair. Isn't that beautiful hair? Stick man because I'm a horrible artist. And he's going to say something in this word bubble. Um, and we'll just write words here. Because I'm not allowed to write letters or numbers. I'm going to switch to the other side. And now this guy is over here with some eyes and a nose. But he is cracking up. He's got... The tears, like the little tear laughing emoji. We'll give him some hair. Give him a stick body. And, um, he's gonna have a text body. I don't, <laughs> I'm kind of lost here. I don't know what to do anymore. Um, I can't write exclamation points, so I'm just gonna write three lines that look like an exclamation point. Maybe that looks like a joke? If you're gonna draw a joke, what would you draw? Other than the Dallas Cowboys. Oh! <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, so that's it, four pictures. We've got a bug, we've got mail, we've got putty, and we've got a joke. So I'm gonna go ahead and see if I can get some people in here 
to check out what these are and see if they know if they can tell what they are. So uh, I'll catch you in a few minutes. Let's check it. All right, I rounded up Miss Vicky, Miss Cindy, and Mr. Raymond. They're gonna come in and see if they can guess what it is that I've drawn. I hope they can get three out of four, but I highly doubt it. So let's see what they can do. All right, bring it on in. Let's see what we can do. Okay, we're excited. They've all got their own judging cards, so they can write down and see if they can guess what it is. Is this what we're guessing? This is it. This is picture one. Okay. Picture two. Picture three and picture four. Good luck. Or at least his best guesses. Okay. So, oh, we're going to start here. Miss Cindy, you done? I'm done. All right, Miss Vicky, what you got for number one? Uh, roach. Okay. Miss Cindy? Bug. Okay. Insect. It was bug. So I feel like all of those are right, right? Yay. I think I think we'll take that. Very nice. All right, I got one. Yay. Nice guessing. Nice guessing. Number two, Mr. Raymond, what you got? Postcard. A postcard. Envelope. 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 It's male. So, kind of, that's like a half point. Well, okay. I, I should have drawn a mailbox or something, but um, anyway, on to number three. Miss Cindy, what you got? Potato chip and pacifier. Miss <laughs> 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 Vicky. A what? funny ice cream cone. That is a funny ice cream cone, <laughs> Mr. Raymond. I put a school of ice cream being dropped in the cone. Okay, uh, it's supposed to be putty, and that's the putty knife. That's a bad putty knife. It's, uh, that was the, I didn't, I didn't get that one. That was hard, but now for the very hard one. What in the world is this, Miss Vicky? Uh, people talking. Okay. I said is folks it? talking. Okay, of course you would say folks, yeah. <laughs> I put Colleen Cummings yelling at her husband who has bad acne. <laughs> Shout out to the Cummings family. <laughs> Sorry you had to hear that. Uh, that's supposed to be a joke. I don't know how to write a joke without using words or numbers or anything like that. So that's supposed to be somebody telling a joke and somebody laughing. Oh, so that's an that angry little tears? Yeah, those are just not angry. That's tears. I thought that was an angry Sorry. So I got like <laughs> one and a half points out of a possible four. Uh, well, thank you guys so much for coming and doing this with us. We appreciate it. Hey, I'm going to take you guys back to the outro. We'll see you in a minute. Well, um, here we are at the outro. One and a half out of four. Pretty disappointing. But the male one was pretty much the same. I knew they weren't going to get putty, and joke was a long shot. So, uh, hey, maybe you can test this out at home. See if you can be a better artist than me and get your family members or your friends or whoever is around to guess what your pictures are uh, and just play this at home. It's actually It was actually pretty fun. I think everybody enjoyed it quite a bit. Uh, and here's, here's my thought behind this. I'm drawing all these pictures and obviously I'm not a very good artist. I'm not very good. That does not, that right there, that does not look like putty, right? <laughs> that, I'm not sure how you could get a joke out of that. These kind of look like a bug and envelope, but like if those were real things, then they would look horrible, right? Um, here's the thing, look out your window. Look outside, go outside, look out your door. Anything green that you see is something that God painted, something that he made, something that he drew. And not only did he draw it, but he created it, he thought of it, he invented it. See, God can, can do so much. He is the great creator. He, just look at your hands. Everyone has a different fingerprint. Look at the lines in your hands. Look at the size of them. Look at your skin tone. Look at the hair on your arms if you have any. Everybody is different, and God painted everything. God made everything. And he is a perfect artist. A perfect artist. God has no limits. He can make whatever he can paint whatever god is a beautiful artist and so 
as you play Pictionary or this little picture battle with your friends and family, and as you go outside and play in the park, play in your backyard, look out the window while it's raining, <laughs> just know that God painted it. God made it. And it is truly a work of art. You are truly a work of art because God created you. And I want you guys to continue to think about that. Every time you see something that God created, just think, my God is awesome. He is powerful and he is the great creator and a great painter. So uh, that's, that's just about it. Hopefully you guys can draw better than, than I drew because I am apparently not up to par. So um, that's going to be it for uh, KCC Kids Vids today. Go outside, see God's creation. Play this picture battle with your family and friends. See if you can do better than I do. And if you do better than I do, make sure and let me know so we can have a picture battle. And uh, that's going to do it. I'm Mr. Clark, and I'm going to sign off. Adios, amigos.